Good morning, and welcome to Hymns by Request. I'm Greg Johnson, and this morning I thought it would be appropriate to have our 4th of July hymn sing, as it were. This is a very difficult time in America and in much of the world, and tomorrow at Friday with the Rev, I'm going to be talking about it. My theme is going to be a new creation, and that's realigning. And so I think the first song that I sing each week when we do hymns by request is a very appropriate prayer for all of us to sing into our hearts. Change my heart, O God, make me ever true. Change my heart, O God, make me more like you. May that be our prayer for each and every one of us. Change my heart, O oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God, may I be like you. You are the potter, I am the clay. Hold me and make me, this is what I pray. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you. May I be like you. And now to begin our time of thinking of the 4th of July, thinking about the country, and thinking about our relationship, each and every one of us, with our God. As we understand that word, the God who gave us this world, we're going to talk tomorrow about the responsibility and the opportunity that is ours today in 2020. Here's a prayer. Can't you just hear the trumpets? Bum, 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 bum. Yes, we've often done that over at Marble and at many other churches. It's a great, great song. Now another thought, as we're re-looking, as we're re-imagining, as we are rededicating and rejuvenating, trust and obey. We'll start with the chorus, we'll do the first verse and go back to the chorus. Trust and obey for there's no other way. Here we go. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on the way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. I like that one very, very much. Now, one of the great 
hymns, one of the great songs of patriotism. Uh, it's one that we know here in America as America, my country tis of thee, and England knows it as God save the Queen. So we're going to be singing my country tis of thee, and I'm going to do the first verse and the third verse on that. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountain side, let freedom ring. And the third verse, let music swell the breeze. Let music swell the breeze and ring from all the trees. Sweet freedom song. Let mortal tongues awake. Let all that breathe partake. Let rocks their silence break. The sound prolong. And in talking of our favorite songs of patriotism. America, America, God shed his grace on thee. Sing along with me. Remember, this is what this is. This isn't a concert. It's not a lecture. It's not part of anything other than just a moment to come together and perhaps raise our vibrations. Remember, we're energy. And when those vibrations begin to sink, there is nothing that emboldens us, nothing that empowers us more than music, because it's vibrations. You can hear it right there, the vibrations. So sing along when you're feeling down, whistle a happy tune. I think that's from a show you all know, but it's true. It's a gift we've been given to deal with the one thing we can deal with, our thoughts and our feelings our response. As I always say, life is not an outside job. It's an inside job. And music raises the spirits. So let's sing together, America, America, God shed his grace on thee. There's no question about that. Now, I'm just checking our list because we had quite a number of requests, but probably nothing was more requested than the song that I'm going to end with today. And it's one that you all know. We've done it before. I've just got to make sure the music is standing up here. That would be very, very helpful. And it is, I'm going to do the introductory chorus, and then we'll do it twice. 
God bless America. And may God bless each and every one of you. That you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. I see people who are watching us from the other side of the world where it's already night. God bless. Much love to each and every one of you. And let us all unite. Let us rededicate ourselves to a new creation, to a new world that is inclusive, that is loving, that shares the gifts that God has given to all of us. For we are all children of the divine. Brothers and sisters, there is all that we need, but there will never be enough if there's greed. We are blessed with prosperity. We are blessed with life. It's our duty to live it, to share it in the love with which we were born. God bless you. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for a land so fair as we raise our voices. July, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow, 8 a.m., live from New York, Friday with the Rev. God bless and happy 4th of July. <laughs>